Süleyman bin Kutanmış founded an independent Seljuk Turkish state in Anatolia and ruled as Seljuk Sultan of Rum from 1077 until his death in 1086. Süleyman was the son of Kutanmış who had struggled unsuccessfully against his cousin Alparslan for the throne of Great Seljuk Empire. When Kutanmış died in 1064, Süleyman fled with his three brothers into the Taurus mountains and there sought refuge with the Turkmen tribes living beyond the borders of the empire. Alparslan responded by launching a series of punitive expeditions against them. Of the four brothers, Suleiman alone survived the raids and was able to consolidate his leadership of the Turkmen. In 1078, the Byzantine Emperor Michael VII sought the help of Suleiman against Nikephoros Botanaites, the commander of the Anatolic theme, who had challenged the emperor for the throne. Suleiman intercepted Botanites' small force between Kotoyeim and Nisia, whereupon the usurpers pursued Suleiman to join his rebellion by offering him incentives superiors to those of the emperor. Nikephoros' bid for power was successful, and in return for their support, Suleiman's Turkmen were allowed to settle on the Asiatic, Asiatic side of the Bosphorus near Constantinople itself. Two years later, Suleiman lent his support to another pretender, Nikephoros Melissenius. It was it was the latter Nikephoros who opened the gate of Nicaea to the Turkmen, allowing Suleiman to establish a permanent base. All Bithynia was soon under Suleiman's control, a circumstance which allowed him to restrict communication between Constantinople and the former Byzantine subjects in Anatolia. In 1084, Suleiman left Nicaea, leaving his kinsman Abul Qasim in charge. Suleiman expanded his realm. In 1084, he captured Antioch and proceeded to massacre its inhabitants. Moreover, the treasures of the Church of St. Cassianus were stolen and the church was converted into a mosque. He was killed near Antioch in 1086 by Tutish I, the Seljuk ruler of Syria. Suleiman's son, Kalaj Aslan I, was captured and Melek Shah transferred him to Isfahan as a hostage. It is uncertain whether Tutush killed Suleiman out of loyalty to Malik Shah or simply to pur- for personal gain. Upon the death of Malik Shah I, Kalaj Aslan re-established the Sultanate of Rome. Kalaj Aslan was the Seljuk Sultan of Rome from 1092 until his death in 1107. He ruled the Sultanate during the time of the First Crusade and thus faced the attack. He also re-established the Sultan of Rome after the death of Malik Shah I of Great Seljuk and defeated the Crusaders in three battles during the Crusade of 1101. After the death of his father, Suleiman, in 1086, he became a hostage of Sultan Malik Shah I of Great Seljuk, but was released when Malik Shah died in 1092. Kilj Aslan then marched at the head of the Turkish Oghuz Yiva tribe army and set up his capital at Nisiya, replacing Amin Ghazni, the governor appointed by Malik Shah I. Following the death of Malik Shah I, the individual tribes, the Danishmans, Mangyukids, Saltukids, Chakatengirbinmis Beys, Ortukids, and Aklat Shahs had started vying with each other in order to establish their own independent states. Alexis Komnenis, presenting Byzantines intrigues further complicated the situation. He married the daughter of the Emir of the Chaka Bay to attempt to ally himself against the Byzantines, who commanded a strong naval fleet. In 1094, Kalaj Aslan received a letter from Alexius suggesting that the Chaka Bay sought to target him to move on to Byzantines. Thereupon, Kalaj Aslan marched with an army to Smyrna, Chaka, Chaka Bay's capital, that is and invited his father in love to banquet in this tent where he slew, slew him while he was intoxicated. The First Crusade, such as the People's Crusade. The Peasants' Crusade army of Peter the Hermit and Walter the Penniless arrived at Nicaea in 1096. A German contingent of the Crusade overran the castle Jerigordon and held it, it until Kalaj sent a force to start them out. The reminder of Peter's crusade was surprised near the village of Dragon by Kalish Aslan's army. They were easily defeated and around 30,000 men, women and children were killed. He then invaded the Danishmen's 
Eberet of Malik Ghazi in eastern Anatolia. First Crusade Because of this easy first victory he did not consider the main crusader's army, led by various nobles of Western Europe, to be a serious threat. He resumed his war with the Danishmans and was away from Nicaea when the new crusaders besieged Nicaea in May 1097. He hurried back to his capital to find it surrounded by the crusaders and was defeated in battle with them on May 21st. The city then surrendered to the Byzantines and his wife and children were captured. When the crusaders sent the Sultana to Constantinople, to their dismay she was later returned without ransom in 1097 because of the relationship between Kalaj Aslan and Alexius Komnenus. As a result of the strong invasion, Rum and the Danishmans allied in their attempt to turn back the Crusaders. The Crusaders continued to split their forces as they marched across Anatolia. The combined Danishman and Rum forces plans to ambush the Crusaders near Doroleum on June 29th. However, Kilish Aslan's horse archers could not penetrate the line of defense set up by the Crusaders' knights and the main body under the Bohemian arrived to capture the Turkish camp on July the 1st. Kalash Aslan retreated and inflicted losses on the Crusaders army with guerrilla warfare and hit and run tactics. He also destroyed crops and water supplies along the road route in order to damage logistical supplying of the Crusaders army. Ghazni ibn Danishment captured Bohemian resulting in a new force of Lombards attempting to rescue him. In their march, they took Ankara from Arslan upon the Danishmans. In alliance with Radwan, the Atabe of Aleppo, he ambushed the force at the Battle of Mesivan. In 1101, he defeated another crusader army at Heracle Subistra, which had come to assist the fledging crusader states in Syria. This was an important victory for the Turks, as it proved that an army of Crusader knights were not invisible. After this victory, he moved his capital to Konya and defeated a force led by William II of Nevers, who attempted to march upon it, as well as the subsequent force a week later. In 1104, he resumed once more his war with the Danishmans, who were now weakened after the death of Malik Ghazi demanding half the ransom gained for Bohemian. As a result, Bohemian allied with the Danishmans against Rum and the Byzantines. After the Crusaders, he moved towards the east, taking Haran and Diyarbakir. In 1107, he conquered Mosul, but he was defeated by Mehmet I of Great Seljuk, supported by the Ortukids and Fakir al-Mulk Radwan of Aleppo at the Battle of Kabul River. Having lost the battle, Kilish Aslan died trying to escape across the river. Chaka Bey was an 11th century Seljuk Turkish military commander who ruled an independent state in Smyrna, present day Izmir. Chaka Bey was originally a raider who was taken as a prisoner by the Byzantine Empire during the reign of Nikephorus III Botanates, ruled from 1078 to 1081. Chaka Bey entered Byzantine service and advanced rapidly through imperial favor, receiving the title Protonobilissimus and rich gifts as well. However, when Alexis I Komnenos from 1081 to 1118 deposed Botonates in 1081, Chaka Bey lost his position and fled Byzantium. From 1089 on, he used his base at Smyrna to wage war against the Byzantines. Employing Christian craftsmen, he built a fleet, with which he captured Posia and the eastern Aegean island of Lesbos, except for the fortress of Metimna, Samnos, Chios, and Rhodos. A Byzantine fleet under Nicatius Castamonitis was sent against him, but Chaka Bey defeated it in battle. In 1090 to 91, however, the Byzantines under, the, under Constantine Dalasenos recovered Chios. On the third, Chaka Bey rebuilt his forces and resumed his attacks, even proclaiming himself Emperor Basilius. 
and seeking to conclude an alliance against Alexius I with the Pechenegs in Thrace. <clears throat> in 1092, Dalasenos and the new Megas Dukes, John Ducas, were sent against Chagas Bay and attacked the fortress of Mytilene on Lesbos. Chagabay resisted for three months but finally had to negotiate a surrender of the fortress. During his return to Smyrna, Dalasenos attacked the Turkish fleet, which was almost destroyed. In spring 1093, Chagabay attacked the port of Abydos in the Sea of Marmara. Alexis I called upon the Sultan of the Sotchuk, Sultanate of Rum, Kilish Aslan, to attack Chagabay from the rear. The Sultan advanced to Abydos, where at the pretext, pretext of inviting Chagabay to a banquet and had him murdered. However, in 1097, Chagabay, possibly the original Chaka's son, is reported as still holding Smyrna when the Byzantine army under John Ducas recaptured the city. Welcome back, fellas. I hope you guys enjoyed a small history lesson, which I'm still continuing on. And for those who quite don't understand where room lies, it's actually here where I'm pointing now with my mouse. And the other Turkic tribe, the Danishmans, uh, they lie over here. So they're really close to each other, like um, neighbors, actually. And as I explained in previous part, uh, after the death of Malik Shah, the empire was totally in chaos and there were a lot of different tribes who started to, you know, who wanted actually um, either liberty or, you know, independent state or or uh, as the new uh, sultan of the Seljuks so that he could continue the legacy of the great, of the great ancestors. But uh, yeah, but that didn't happen because there were too many jealousies, too many um, warlords, and on top of that, the Crusades came in here. So yeah, it was difficult. But um, anyways, I, got, I, hope, I really hope that you guys enjoyed that small history lesson. And for the next part, part five, I will continue with the Byzantine emperors. Uh, what happened to Nikephorus the third Botanitis, and his successors Alexius the first Comnenus and and then I will continue with your uh, crusader story from their point of view of course but let's back let's go back to our game now so that we don't lose more time and it looks like this settlement doesn't have any protection so that might anger the people inside no wonder why yeah you know what, maybe we should check out our bills, what we can do. Okay, here we go, we got a small masjid, that's good. See, no wonder why they're so pissed off, there's no uh, happiness in here. Recruitment, no need. Mm. I need financial bills and this is just happiness or it provides me a spy which I don't need how about this one no so I'm just gonna go with Bovier then nothing here Garrison quarters. It's not bad, but still need. Nah, it's fine. Let's go with Bovir. Bovir. How about Baghdad? So this gives me public order. Racing tracks gives me bonus to happiness and races and all that. Market increases in travel goods. I don't think this is a money thing for me. How about paved roads? Yeah, and then we go for this one after that. Yes, 
Good. Ballista maker, no. Shisha bar. You wanna make a happy settlement? Then I should probably... Alright, this one is cheaper, so I'll go with this one. Same goes for this place. Town hall. I mean, it's not bad. Increasing travel goods. Town guard, no. Let's go with the town hall. At least I get some happiness out of it, so. Yeah, let's go with this one. Same goes for this place. I think, if I'm quite right about it, I think the best way to get more money is to construct city cities rather than castles. Right, this is a, this is a city, yeah. Uh, what about this one? Mott and Bailey. Oh, this is a castle, sorry. This is a town. Large town, okay. So the the bigger the town gets, the more money it means. If I'm not mistaken, of course. Lucky enough, we captured Adana. We should probably try to... Nah, just keep it as it is. I don't want to play anymore. Combine the armies and then as I explained we are at civil war so killing each other is quite frankly normal <laughs> you too man you're getting there assault you know what how about mm. Yeah, let's do automatic resolve, yeah. Lord oh shit. Leave the warriors of Islam. Good they're they're not. Our faith has delivered us victory. I don't want to massacre my own people. So let's just occupy it. I don't want to get punishment later on. Repair it. Good. Only peasants. I don't need any peasants. I need professional armies. Are there any more? Yes, there are more rebellion towns up north, so I should probably head up there. My eyes are yours. Okay, this rebel is being ambushed. No, taken by Kuman army. This is also uh, another Turkic army. Turkic people. And I am to explore the Mother Russians. And there they are. They are about to take Ryazan. No good. That's good. I do not seek battle with you either. That sounds good, so I need to recruit a merchant then. Yeah. We get an agent here. You get out, boy. But no, there we go. Uh, we can only recruit one at all per turn, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Horse archers, I don't know if I need them. It's like, um, there we go. Get a peasant archer over there. How much money will I get for next turn, though? That I wonder. Okay, see, someone has to explain this to me. Should I have it all the way up here, or here, or here? I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep it here till I figure out 
what to do with that. Wait, this is not the way. No, what, what am I doing? Wait, there we go. Um, is this what I'm gonna get for next turn, or probably, or yeah, four thousand, something like that. See, I need to capture more, more chows. I need to strengthen my empire. And then I'll probably just attack and recapture Jerusalem, Antioch, Edessa from the Crusaders. You have little to fear from us, Seigneur. Then get out of my land, bitch. I serve the faith. Alright, let's end the turn. Oh shit, I forgot about this guy. Give me alliance. I see little myself. Something further for me to hear then? You just want money, don't you? Oh wait. No. Alliance and map information, how about that? We must decline. There is something else you wish to propose then? See, I can't even give him money. How about military access? No. No, ah, you, you bring words with meaning. Well. Seems like they don't want to be my friends. So, what are you gonna do? Alright, these guys are still trying to bribe my Tbilisi. And I won't have that. That's good. My people are loyal to me. Another adoption. Well, he looks promising, so why not? Take rebel settlement, okay. They will give me 2,000 florins. Okay, here we go. Perfect. March your men further into conquest, brother. <laughs> Why am I keeping two generals? Alright, this guy, he can stay as an emir. Emir stands for governor, so that's cool. And who should leave the army? This guy. Since he has the best... He's got one star. <laughs> All right, let's let's see now. Sultan. Yes, we can Tell combine serve, the troops. Orders. Orders. That's good. How may I serve, Sultan? Sultan. Orders. Oh. Orders. How may I serve, Sultan? Sultan. No wait. Orders. There we go. Sultan. What is the Sultan's will? How may I serve, Sultan? How may I serve, Sultan? How may I serve, Sultan? I should at least Sultan. leave one behind like this, yes. Good. And you bomb, should head up here. There we go. How may I serve, Sultan? We must. And what you get the over there. Orders. So it looks like it's okay. So I can s combine this guy in here. Orders. Perfect. There's no unhappiness here. So far, what I can see. Should we convert this to a village? Hmm. I don't know. No, um, uh, it looks fine so far. Wait. Where was the... Um, there we go, that's the place that I need to go to. Sorry about that again, Crusaders. I mean, I could, I think I could easily overrun them. They don't seem to have that great army here now. I don't know. Should I raise you with this guy or not? How may I serve, Sultan? You may serve me well. Orders. Sultan. 
God damn it, now I'm confused. Wait, hold on. There we go. That's the place. And he can reach it, so I'm sorry, guy. You're just gonna have to stay put. Orders. How may I serve, Sultan? Get all these Sultan. men Sultan. into Sultan. war. How may I serve, Sultan? Orders. Uh oh, no. I was wrong. <laughs> Alright, it seems like when you're cavalry, you have further destination point than Sultan. footmen, so okay, my bad. Looks like you're gonna have the honor after all, my friend. How, may I How about serve, I send Sultan? you some reinforcements then? Orders. How may I serve, Sultan? Orders. Joining the ranks. Hmm, three more, okay. Sultan. Then I should send Orders. these two. How may I serve, Sultan? Three, I mean. Up Gotta wait for next time. turn. Shisha bar is done. Construct now. Recruit more troops. Ballista maker. Let a tanner. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's go with this one. Yeah. I could. Uh, I don't know. Should I keep on Motembeli for now? Alright, that was the like repairment. So okay. Let's see if we can build something else somewhere else that we forgot previous. No, it looks like everything is in construction. And how about we recruit some more troops then? We're gonna need more troops. And it doesn't look like that I get that great troops of choice. Mm. But yeah, let like this. I don't know. Is it worth it or not? I don't think these guys are even good. Leva archers. Seems like they were. I don't know. I'm gonna wait. But uh, we could. How about we get some dough? Yeah, why not? Alright, I saw something, yes, there we go. I serve your will. Where is the merchant? Or maybe I should send him to Constantinople where the money is now at. I must rest, there we go. The hell is that? Oh, the peasants, okay. Uh, I think I should. Skip that. I, I need diplomats. More diplomats. What does the Sultan will? Uh, you continue to Carthage or Tunis, Tunisia. End the turn. Moscow. There we are, Moscow. <coughs> My okay. Sultan sends me oh. a word for your leader. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, why not? I mean, they are giving me map information so I can see. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Our gratitude for this act of wisdom shall not die soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. How about um, an alliance? We are most willing to hear you out further. And then I give you military, oh sorry, map information and military access. I see little. Another nope. proposal. Very good. A 
Here we won't be agreeing. I welcome words of wisdom such ah. as these. Asalama. We failed. Moorish Caliphate. The Doge of Genoa is dead. Okay. Oh. Is he dead now? It means I can go and claim his lands to myself. Then. Wow. Okay. It was a huge uh, lands. The Cumans. Hmm. Damn. It looks really nice. I get, wow. They, they're even here too. Nice. And I guess they lost a lot of lands here, here, and some few more here. The great Khazar Empire laid here. Actually, the Khazars uh, chose the religion of Judaism, so you guys know. But they're dead now, they're not living now. I mean, they're living but not as Khazarians they just adopted to something else but they ended somewhere thousand something all right let's go see what's this all about Byzantines are really strong financially Moorish Caliphate is the strongest okay and now I'm gonna go for uh, stables yes we need good strong calories calories and quarters why not town watch let's go with that let's go with that just gonna build and build and build how about communal farming or masjid or yes wait who the who the hell are you man I am a soldier. Speak to our oh I am the Byzantines are approaching they want war you talking to me? there are four units and I got four units here as well and I could send this guy over here there we go so now we are five versus friend, four. I get one bowman. I don't know. Oh shit. Okay, seems like they have taken the first step to wage war against these guys. I should probably do the same. As you will. Inshallah, Perfect. we will smite this foe, Sultan. Besieging the enemy. Mighty Sultan, <coughs> do we wet them out or strike? I got only one, barely like one half good Morgan. strong army. How may I serve, Sultan? And I don't like that idea. Galaf. Continuing tomorrow, my orders. I want like two, three strong armies. Shit. Yes, my master. I am a soldier. Can I see now? Speak to our representatives. I am neither friend nor foe, your majesty. What the hell are you guys? Is there something I can do for you, noble lord? Yes, get out of my lands, bitch. This concludes our meeting. You talking to me? 